Yep, it started. Thank you very much. Can I welcome everyone to the public part of the Townsdale board meeting? Um, can I have apologies first, Rinda, if you could just tell me who's not attending? Uh, Deb Reggiana, James Norris, Simon Tranta, Sean Darcy and David Benj have sent their apologies for today's meeting. And is there any, any guests on today's call that need introducing? No, none, none today. OK, David, a hand up. Yeah, thanks, uh, Chair. It's just to say uh, I was talking earlier to. Um, oh, gosh, it's been that sort of day. Sorry, uh, I was talking earlier to Jeff uh, from Urban Hacks and he's uh, asked if he can give his apologies. He had a, a meeting clash and uh, so he's asked me to present his apologies to the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. And. Declarations of interest. I assume there are no declarations other than the standard ones that have already been declared. That's correct. Thank you. Srinda, can we go through the minutes like we normally do, please? Um, yes, Approve we'll those. You see my. Oops, it is it. Uh, wrong one. Bear with me. All right. No worries. Hopefully you can see. Yeah, so do you want yeah. to go through page Not by page? Yet, sure. Sorry, so the meeting took place on Wednesday 25th September. And this is page one. And page two. And Page three and page four. Meeting ended at fifteen oh five. Thank you very much, Linda. Uh, I will. Put, I think these are a true reflection of the meeting. Can somebody just second them for me, please? Thank you, Rupert. So, Linda, we can take them as read. Thank you. So if we could get an update from Rupert for Blockswitch, please. Yes, I do. Thank you, Chair. Um, so um, since we last, um, since our last Downdale down board meeting, we, uh, the, block, the Blockswitch Advisory Board met uh, on two weeks ago, the 24th of October. Um, we were, for the first time, without our sainted leader, um, Mark Lavender, um, but so we were, we were, we were, we were, um, uh, but we were had a very good updates from all the uh, lead officers and uh, um, uh, and, and those involved. Um, the meeting lasted one hour, um, so succinct. Um, we had. Um, um, in terms of the financial up, financial updates, key thing that we were told, we were reported was no one was reporting problems. Um, possible issue one or two leases or something, but really all manageable as we were at told. Um, the Power BI um, side of life um, coming on well and um, now dovetailing with Walsall, we've had we've had um, further updates since that meeting, um, with links to it and good support by the uh, officers for everybody. So everybody should really be looking and using that now. Um, then the actual individual project pro progress updates, um, construction skills through regeneration, uh, community capital program. The only thing on that was one of the projects. Budget, budget is suddenly gone up very substantially, um, and um, it was made clear that there was no other opportunity for for us to to meet that. 
So they are going away to uh, look at what they can do within the funds that are available, which haven't changed. It's just that the cost of the project seem to have um, gone up, and that's really because of um, sort of mechanical stuff behind the behind the walls and above the ceilings and all that kind of stuff that you don't see. Um, so that was the only issue there, really. Um, green block switch, um, just to note, there's, you know, five million to spend next year. <laughs> That's the, uh, just a point to note. Um, and um, actually, in the context of that, I mean, since that meeting, I've heard, I was, heard, I was advised that there's been vandalism um, there on KG5, um, big issue really, um, and uh, something where I think needs to be really um, taken into account um, and really concrete plans so how we're going to, you know, not have whatever we do trashed. Um, so um, that's a uh, point to, um, to note. Um, Incubation space, a uh, launch uh, launch pad, um, all all going well, and there are going to be um, opportunities to visit it in November and December. Um, I'm very much hoping to go along in December. I didn't think I would make it in in in, um, in um, November. I'm afraid, um, um, and that is um, um, the reason why. Um, Chair, as I mentioned to you before, I might have to drop out of the meeting because I've only just got out of a hospital a couple of days after eight days, and mm -hmm. and and I think I've, I'm not sure we'll be able to sit, sit around here too much longer. So um, uh, that's my that's my report. Is that okay? Thank you um, very much, Rupert, for the thank report. You thank you very much yeah. indeed. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay. You. Any questions for Rupert? Okay. Carl, can I bring you in with an update for Walsall? And Rupert, just to help with the net, when we go to the public, uh, the private session, what we'll do is we'll get you to do your bit first, then if you're OK, and then any time you want to go away, but please do, yeah? You're a mute, sir. No problems. Carl. Thank you, Chair. Um, so since the uh, last town board uh, meeting, we met, uh, the advisory board met on uh, Wednesday the 9th of October. Um, so I'll just give a, a, a fairly brief sort of update um, on what how uh, what took place. So we we opened civil as to Rupert around the financial and the risk, which um, Alison gave us good uh, insight and steer um, on some of the numbers as to where we are. So just to sort of run through that very quickly. So as a, as a continuation to my last update on the on the challenges right into the active public space in particular. So the adult learning centre, the advanced vehicle centre. Um, uh, tend to they still remain uh, of, of concern in the sense that, in particular, the program time restraints and the increased forecast costs are, of course, there's a potential need to consider a project adjustment uh, request. So the team and the officers are currently, you know, exploring all of that. So we know it's in hand. It's just the fact that I'm just making obviously the, the board aware of that particular um, situation. Um, the Office of Project Leads can provide more specifics on the progress since our, our last discussion on the matter, which, of course, we can discuss later in the proceedings. I should emphasise that these are matters relating to the timing of commitments, um, specifically due to the similar complexity and the particular uh, projects in the planning and funding arrangement. So, you know, we have understanding of the projects themselves. It's just in terms of the interfacing and some of the uh, arrangements around that into the funding and all the various complexity, complexities we have to jump through, uh, et cetera. Um, Verto on the reporting, um, again, that platform we know is live. However, there was a note raised about the fact that some of the project data wasn't being updated. Um, so there was a call out, a call of arms for everybody in regards to making sure the project leads and officers ensure that data is, is up to date on all the project stuff, because obviously that's the lifeblood to us in terms of visibility or risk and profiling and everything else. So vitally important that that is up to date and kept in check. So as far as I'm aware, and obviously I'll be following up with some of the next meeting, um, all the Warsaw projects should be now completely up to date, data in there and, and what have you. So we'll, we'll address that, obviously, uh, uh, follow up on that at the next meeting. 
uh, joint block switch and Walsall project. So the design is complete with adjustments being allowed to accommodate highways and the new development works that are ongoing. The bus improvements with the infrastructure known as power to the four shelter locations is in play and we anticipate completion of those in spring 2025. So proceeding well. A34 Green Lane Bridge, the pedestrian widening and upgrades, uh, again, for, for, for want of a better word, there was an event held this Monday, so I, sadly I couldn't attend that, but I know there was some, some press and some press and board members attended that in terms of the Green Lane um, launch. Um, so Natasha obviously was on that from a marketing point of view. Really capital, I'm just mindful not to name names here in the specifics, so I'm just being a bit general in terms here, so forgive me because we're in a public domain, but one of the recently approved community projects has, has reached out for assistance, um, which has been provided by the team and that, which has resulted, and I just want to explain, just put this on, on, on the map really. So the team supported them, and what that's resulted in is design, costs and plans are now moving ahead with tender packs for the work, scope defined, uh, along with the visual presentations, they said it should be with us by the beginning of November. So that's a project that was starting to stall and pause, but the team have wrapped themselves around that, got hold of it, and they've supported it through. So we've now got progress in that. So Helen and Claire, the team in that, great stuff on that front. Um, we also have another project that's just landed as well, that's just in the process of uh, completing a planning application. So again, we should have some cost program details and visibility on that during November. We may have an update on the next advisory one on that one in, uh, in, 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 uh, in due course. On the Walsall project specifically, so again, active public spaces, I've already briefly covered that to some degree. Um, so I won't go into too much of that. But at the meeting itself, uh, David kindly gave us a update in regards to the Connect Gateway and some of the other elements that all come into play with this. And I think that sort of reinforces the complexity here. We're not just talking about a project in isolation. We're talking about a project that interfaces with about three or four others. And of course, those then lead to extra questions and long length of time of process. And goodness knows what else comes down the track. Um, so then we move on to creative industries. There's an audit in progress to receive the Arts Council funding. The main contractor has been appointed. The overspend pressure discussions concerning the heritage and planning matters continue to be managed by the team, as Jeff and the officers, etc. Um, so there's no change in terms of the real completion expectations on that one, as far as I'm aware. So going very well, looking really, really good as a, as a project, etc. So uh, very positive on that. Uh, Digital Skills Hub. Um, so 95% project spend, active headcount 75, open active delivering. Um, and I'm going to say it's my absolute pleasure because I attended the opening um, on the 18th. I said to Kevin and Tony that I wouldn't miss it. And um, I'm very, very glad I won't use uh, any offense without. Very, very glad I did. Um, honestly, simply fabulous. Um, with not only state of the art facilities, positivity from the students I met and the external invested interest from a global player such as Adobe Support and Initiative. Well, you know, all about people involved in the world that is a digital space. I mean, come on, what's not the love in that for me? So it, it doesn't really get much better than that for me in the sense that. You know, <laughs> might need to upgrade me uh, Rocket League skills in regards to what they've got going on there in the esports competitions to come. But I was absolutely blown away, inspired, you know, environment, space, opportunity, creativity. It, it's got it all there and, and in such a good shape. So credit to Kevin, Tony, the team and the officers involved in that. Absolute pleasure on that one. Um, just to finally finish it, all other projects, as far as I'm aware, are either complete out the door. I mean, we, we, we've spoken in the past about um, some of the, the success of these projects already delivering. I mean, the construction skills is a prime example. I don't think James and the team can cope with the numbers and the demands. So let's hope that things like the Digital Skills Hub, you know, replicate those sort of demands, that sort of level of interest, etc. across the board. That concludes the update for the advisory board, Chair. Thank you very much, Carl. Is there any questions for Carl? Thank you. OK, so there are no other matters outstanding, so we'll close the public part of our meeting and we'll go on to our private. Sarinda, could you uh, stop the recording for me?